Patch 1 for Kerbal Space Program 2 is finally available, and it brings with it a bunch of good fixes and improvements. This includes some performance improvements, fixed decouplers, and numerous Delta V fixes. Patch 1 then contains a whole bunch of improvements, around 300 of them in fact. Let's start with a quick look at the patch highlights. This was posted to the forums by Creative Director Nate Simpson. Immediately, you can see some of the much needed issues have been addressed. Optimized fuel flow calculations, improved joint strengths, stack decouplers incorrectly being connected after a staging, and much more. Many of these have certainly affected my own play sessions, and I know they have hit other people too. The full patch notes are available on the forums. I will include a link to that in the video description for those of you who want to check it out. So I don't want to get into the nitty gritty of every single patch note. There are other issues to talk about, some very big questions in fact. Fortunately, the devs have now addressed, addressed rather at least a few of these. So with patch one now here, players are no doubt wondering what the release cadence is for future updates. Well, Intercept Games have confirmed that patch two is currently in development and will be released within the next few weeks. It seems reasonable then that at this point to assume patch releases may occur on a roughly three to four week release window. And that assumption would tie in with what the devs have previously stated about aiming to release updates spaced out every few weeks. Now currently there's no information on what to expect in patch two, but the key point is that we do know it is coming. The bigger question, however, is the subject of performance. This has really been a massive issue surrounding KSP2 ever since its launch. Well, it turns out that patch one has fixed at least some of this, at least in part. Whilst the VAB and launch process still seem to be fairly low in terms of performance, being in orbit and moving around the surface of other worlds has taken a massive step up. So I have briefly done some initial tests here and in orbit around some of the planets, I have now, I'm now getting around about 120 frames per second, sometimes even more. Whereas previously my GPU was often maxing out around 50% or so, it is now frequently hitting at the 97% mark. I know this is on an RTX 4090, I fully realise this is an unusually high spec PC that most people won't have access to, but I have also seen on the Discord server that other people have also seen performance improvements along the similar sort of percentage line. Now additionally, in the VAB there have been some fixes. Previously, adding certain components to the ship, such as rocket boosters, would cause massive performance hits. It appears that particular issue has now been fixed. I've tried this out a few times and not once been able to replicate that massive performance hit. Unfortunately, however, it still seems that within the VAB and during launch, and likely during other situations as well, the game is still intensely CPU bound. And this could be reflected in how the GPU quite frequently hit within these circumstances and these situations gets stuck at around the 40 to 50% mark, at least for my GPU. Now, another subject people have been asking about is heat physics and re-entry. These are currently not enabled within the game. Many people will have noticed that when entering a Kerbin and Juna, other such places, you can come down without any heat shield and without any concern at all for heat. Now, patch one unfortunately has not changed this and developers community team have confirmed that patch two will not be bringing these into the game either. So that means at the very least, we're probably a month, maybe two months away from seeing heat physics and re-entry physics added into the game. It's clear that Intercept Games don't want to tie down a date as to when we can expect to see this, but either way, we know it's going to be quite a while. In terms of bugs, a lot of them has certainly been fixed with this update, but it's going to take time to test all of those out. During the coming days, we will get a much better picture on how patch one has helped. Initial impressions, however, are that this is a good step forward for the game. Although that said, I know people are still having serious trouble with the game, but each of these steps forward is certainly progress. Elsewhere, weird bugs are still happening. Here, I have my craft laying on its side on a moon. And when I try to EVA, the Kerbal finds itself high above the surface. I try to do this multiple times, and each time the Kerbal is ejected at a huge distance from the craft. 
Now this may not happen in all cases, but it certainly happened every time I tried it here. It's a bug that is, well, a typical a Kerbal, isn't it? At any rate, if you haven't tried KSP2 for a while, this could be a good time to jump back in and to see how things stand today. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.